Well, business owners are certainly happy that California is finally fully reopening tomorrow. There are concerns, especially among those in the restaurant industry, that is not fully out of the woods just yet. Earlier today, I spoke with San Francisco chef David Nafeld. He owns the popular Kefico restaurant. The pandemic, of course, wiping out a huge swath of sales for the restaurant industry. Nafeld tells me that he is hopeful for a quick recovery, but adds it is going to be a continued fight to try to stay in business. The pandemic itself created a lot of supply constraint, um, and there's also other kind of, um, you know, circulating factors that are going to make the next couple of years uh, very challenging. But I mean, I don't think we've even seen all of the different things that will arise yet. And so I, I'm very, um, you know, I'm very optimistic, but I, I, I think that we're going to be dealing with a lot of different things popping up. And I think everybody needs to really have their eye on the prize and recognize that we're not out of this thing. And so when you talk about challenges going forward, explain what some of those might be. And I also know, David, that you are approaching this in a different way. And you are actually asking customers to pay an additional fee when dining at the restaurant. Right. So <clears throat> there's a number of things that kind of play into that. Number one is before this ever started, uh, the restaurant industry, uh, particularly in California and in San Francisco, uh, was not a sustainable business model to be in. Uh, in terms of as an operator, and it wasn't a sustainable model to be working in as a labor force. And I think that myself and a number of other um, peers of ours here in the city and throughout California have decided to make changes to make our business models more sustainable for us as operators, but also more sustainable for folks that want to work within it. Uh, raising wages, making uh, sure that we're taking care of folks, uh, and also enticing people to stay in our industry and recognize that this industry has a um, kind of uh, a verticality to it in terms of, you know, your ability to create uh, wealth for yourself or at least a savings. Um, and I think that recognizing that the pandemic really, I think, laid that bare, you know, more so than created it, right? And then when you, th when you add the layers that the pandemic kind of created, it also added debt. And I think debt is something that we're have to, uh, all of us are going to have to be very mindful of because a lot of restaurants in particular were not able to open up enough to spend their PPP appropriately or different grants like that that converted to debt. And a lot of restaurants were not able to get the restaurant revitalization fund that the Independent Restaurant Coalition fought for. Uh, yet, right? And so we're going to need the government to refill that fund. And that's going to be incredibly important to do to see us make it out the, of the other side. Do you think, David, that the federal government and even local officials have done enough to, to support you and others who are in the restaurant industry? Not by a long shot. Um, and the truth is, I think there's been a lot of uh, signaling about that. And people love to campaign about uh, their support of small business. But the truth is, uh, you know, uh, unfortunately, what hasn't actually occurred is a really uh, thoughtful um, approach to helping small business, not just now, but recognizing that this is going to be a number of years process. Uh, we have certain, um, you know, supervisors here in San Francisco who uh, feel like there's, you know, just the bare minimum is acceptable. And I think that there are certain other supervisors that have been working very hard for us. I think the mayor of San Francisco, London Breed, um, really does care about small businesses. And I think she gets it. And I think that a number of people within her administration get it. And I think that it would be really great to see the board of supervisors in San Francisco all come together and support her and support small businesses. Uh, because I think right now they need to recognize that we're not getting out of this thing just because tomorrow people can come into our restaurants and masks are up. We have accrued so much debt and we've accrued uh, and we are going to continue to accrue debt. Right. And if we by the way, if we want to pay people more, we're going to have to charge more. We're going to uh, see a fallout from that. Guests are not universally going to be accepting of that. And that's something that we as operators need to take into account. But we also just need to recognize the fact that if the cost of everything has risen, then the price of everything also needs to rise. And that's simple economics 101. David, as we wrap up this conversation, though, your overall message to those who love their local restaurant, who, who want to support, you know, the vibrancy, especially in San Francisco. What, what is your message to people as California finally does open and they get the chance to, you know, go back and have a seat there at Fico? I would say <clears throat> my overwhelming message to people uh, would be three main things. One is uh, be patient. Uh, 
right? Um, I know that nobody wants to be patient after a year, but recognize that whatever year you've been through, uh, small businesses have probably been through a little bit tougher of one, right? Because if you got to work from home, a lot of these small businesses did not, and they weren't able to make it. Uh, the second one is be kind and recognize that the folks that are there have been essential employees. And those are the people who risked uh, going out to work every single day to make sure that you had to go food or that you had groceries or you had any of those things delivered to you. Um, and then uh, third, uh, spend your dollars along with your values, right? And recognize the fact that when you vote for something like higher wages, when you vote for something like healthcare, when you vote for something that um, we all want people to have, you should be uh, voting with your dollars as well. When you see a business that is paying their employees well, when they're buying things from local places like farmers markets and working with local farms, and they're providing you with that, then your integrity should dictate the fact that you spend your dollars in those places. Very important reminders there, especially about being patient and being kind. Now, given the, the new economic reality, Chef Nafield started adding a dining in surcharge. That's a 10% fee that will apply for those who dine inside. He tells me that this is a clear way to explain what it costs for you to dine indoors, the table, the real estate, the server. And he says about 80% of people so far say they understand and are supportive.